All right, so third time's the charm. Hopefully. Hello, everybody. It is I, Grant, right? And here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of Ice type. We're here on our way over to the um, Weather Institute. And we've been having some technical difficulties to mor this morning with our team tracker. And I don't know why. I'm trying to figure those out. So hopefully we charge forward. Alright, well, Celio does get poisoned. Which is fine. We have something that can deal with that. We have a berry that can deal with that. We do need to get past the fight first, though. Good deal. And there goes the tracker. Oh no. Just had a little stutter there for a sec, but the tracker stayed up, so that's good. Alright, we are gonna get rid of the poison, but we won't heal. I don't think I even have any more healing items anyways. Swap Regice up. Against this Breloom. Icy Wind. Swap Deli Bird up to do the next fight with Regice because it's double battle. You let me run away. Hopefully, Christian Bond comes back. I think I saw that he was in the chat before I had to split and restart and everything. Let's Thunderbolt and Secret Power. Good deal. It's Deli Birds level up, so that's nice. Swap up Seal and Celio. Then this last trainer has but a Tropius and a Weedball. Um, let's... 
but just double surf. So we will be getting our second evolution here soon in this episode. So that's exciting. I seem so excited about it, don't I? That's exciting. But Seal will be evolving into Dugong here at the next level up. Which might be in this fight, because we're keeping Seal up front. And then we won't have names that sound so familiar, like Seal and Spiel and Celio. Of course, Celio sounds a little different than Seal, because it's got a whole extra syllable on the end. We're definitely going to level up off this Tropius. Alright, here we go. This is our Dugong, who's trying to learn Sheer Cold. We're going to pass on that. So let's take a look at Dugong and read about its uh, Pokemon biology. So Dugong is a pinniped Pokemon with a snowy white furry body. Its fur renders, renders, it, vir vis uh, its fur renders it virtually invisible uh, in snowy conditions. It... Its face has two black eyes, a black nose, and two tusks extending from its upper jaw. It has a streamlined body with two front flippers and a long flowing tail. Even in extremely cold and packed, ice packed waters, its tail allows it to be a swift and agile swimmer at a speed of eight knots. On top of its head is a sharp, ho sharp horn which allows it to cut through the thickest ice flows. It lives on icebergs adrift in frigid ocean waters. It thrives in lower temperatures, becoming increasingly more active the colder the weather. By storing thermal energy within its body, it is completely unharmed by even the most intense freezing weather. During daylight hours, it sleeps on bitterly cold ice or under shallow water. However, at night, when the temperature drops, it becomes a hunter and searches for prey such as wishy-washy. Following a meal, it sunbathes on the beach. This raises its body temperature and aids in digestion. And our Gen 3 Pokedex information for uh, Dugong, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald all say Dugong loves to snooze on bitterly cold ice. Um, the sight of this Pokemon sleeping on a glacier was mistakenly thought to be a mermaid by a mariner long ago. Fire Red says its body is covered with a pure white fur. The colder the weather, the more active it becomes. And Leaf Green says it stores thermal energy in the body. It swims at a steady 8 knots even in intensely cold waters. And that is our information on Dugong. At least gotta get Reg Ice up to level 34. So just in case something weird happens, let's give this a save. Since we've been having weird stuff happen all day. Let's get to the Weather Institute. 
We'll heal up first, of course. We should be able to take on Winona in this episode, which will be awesome. And I don't see her <laughs> stopping this team at all. Celio should be pretty close to being done EV training. It needs 22 more experience or EV points to finish level training. Or to finish EV training. And Deli Bird needs 29. Shadowbond. Yo, how's it going? Deli Bird up to do this next fight with Reg Ice. You ready for uh, the Winona fight? It's gonna be tough. having a hard day at work yesterday so after you just watched all your clips and the last uh, stream of the ice team and you were laughing so hard you had a much better day well i'm glad you had a much better day i'm glad i was able to help lift your spirits i'm sorry that you had a rough day yesterday man My very first video of this Pokemon challenge, meaning this ice team, or like the very first video way back in Gen 1. I'm gonna be so happy once Delibird learns Aerial Ace and we stop missing. The one way back in Gen 1. Didn't we have like a really junk grass team when we started things off? Like wasn't our first playthrough like Execute Tangela in Paris? That was it. I remember because it was a really junk grass team. And also the other grass team, all three of my Pokemon's names started with V. And they had the same typing on the second one. Because they were all poison grass on the second one. And it was Venusaur, Victory Bell, Vile Plume. But yeah, we didn't learn a grass attack for forever with that first grass team. That was a really hard start. It just felt like we just not did not learn 
Also, the mystified eleven tries. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I was able to brighten your day, man. Uh, let's send out our our brand new dugong to take out this uh, this Zubat. There he is. V for victory. That's right. So Delibird's already gotten 10 more EV points. So it only needs 19 more to finish EV training. This will get it up to 12. joined in halfway through the uh, Gen 1 teams. Yeah, yeah. And it's been a ride ever since. It has been great having you here, man. <laughs> and this journey is just getting started on top of that. Good paralysis, Deli Bird. Oh, we've been schwagged. Come on. Of course not. Of course not. Holy moly! You didn't just punch yourself in the face, you bashed your head against the concrete, and then of course you miss. Telebird! Telebird! What the frickity frack? <laughs> Why can't you just take down the opposing Pokemon? This game. Who wanted to play this game? Uh, what did we start with? <laughs> after the second miss okay like I, I get upset yeah he hits himself in his face and he deals two-thirds of his health and damage to himself the the mighty Anna is paralyzed okay we then miss attack the mighty Anna is paralyzed we've been miss a third a second attack and then it gets to bite us and knock us out I mean come on Man, you have a lot of stress in your life, Grant, all right? It looks like you're really aging very fastly. What's going on at home? Pokemon just stresses me out because it don't make sense. <laughs> Supposed to be this Pokemon type good against this Pokemon type. You beat the Pokemon, you get the levels, and you win the fights. And, uh, you know, well, what happens? It just don't have to make no sense. Oh, 
Oh. Stupid game. Game is dumb. Tellybird is super strong when it hits itself. You ain't a kid. You are not kid. I'm sorry, kitty. I'm shouting. You had to come check on me and make sure I was okay. I'm all right. I'll calm down. I apologize. Just full of memes and crushed dreams. That sounds about right. bad enough that we were having technical difficulties issues we're having pokemon technical difficulties later because nelly bird doesn't know how to doesn't know how to pokemon i dealt a lot of damage boss to your own face to your own face Not technical. T <laughs> it's, t it's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> Well, everybody's going to be 35 by the time we get to Winona, and then she is going to have a bad time. We've made it to Fortree, everybody. We did it. Somehow. We also get sleep talk in this town. I forget exactly where. Place of headbutt. All 
Alright, we sneak by this trainer. So the spray and repel. Swap up Reg Ice for this first fight, and then the double battle afterwards will be with Deli Bird. That'll level them both up to uh, 35. Keep talking to the unseen thing when we talk to Steven. Look, use the Devon scope to uncamouflage the uh, Kecleon. <laughs> there are good Pokemon, mediocre Pokemon, bad Pokemon, horrible Pokemon, and then there's Deli Bird. It's just, ugh. My heart can't take the stress. <laughs> I just turned 35 this past weekend. That put me to a grade from a, in the grave from a massive coronary early. I'm still young, yeah. <laughs> I know. Thunderbolt the Skarmory. Do it again. Of course it gets a five hit. It's a good thing Reg Eyes takes damage like you're actually chipping away at a solid glacier. Really lives up to that Pokedex entry of it being Antarctic ice. Chip, chip, chip. That must mean since it's a glacier Pokemon that squirrels are super effective against it due to the uh, canon Ice Age knowledge. Oh my gosh, Delibird's gonna get Aerial Ace in here. Urgh, Delibird gets Aerial Ace, come on! We gotta get up and beat Winona so we can get Aerial Ace. I do believe after this that Deli Bird is going to be leveled up. <laughs> or EV trained. Good damage. I was not expecting it to take down that Tropius in a single hit.
All right, I'm gonna check here, but I'm pretty. I have to actually like pull out a calculator and add it up. But I'm pretty sure that Deli Bird is done. Yes, Deli Bird is done EV training. But the Pokemon like Onyx, Yama, and Deli Bird make, do, make these videos so much more exciting. Yeah, I know it's the bad Pokemon that really make the content, but man, the bad Pokemon really... <laughs> really make me i mean I, I don't know if struggle is the right word i i have to really think and just expect the worst because even with the good pokemon at times like the rng just makes it difficult when it's bad on top of the rng it just it just doesn't matter There's 35 for Celio. 35 for Dugong. The Clefairy KO on Moltres happened back because you ran out of fire spins and had to use Peck, yeah. All right, let's check Celio. All right, everybody is fully EV trained. And for the rest of the game, it does not matter who fights what. Which is really nice, honestly. And I might see if there's a way that I can somehow get Pokerus on my team at the beginning of each playthrough. Just to get to this point. Oh, well, hey, have a great rest of your day. I'm glad you popped in and chatted with me. Hope uh, you have a better day today than you did yesterday. And uh, we'll see you next time, Krishnabod. So let's heal up before we go into this fight. And then in we go. We're going to start off here with Deli Bird against the Swablu, because if there's anything you can take on it, hopefully it's that. Alright, well, let's get a Secret Power us back. I bet it gets the Paralysis. Ah! Called that bullshit, didn't I? switch oh what a bunch of nonsense if this steel beam will be super effective against reg ice some good damage almost did 30 to us i did 26 27 All right, well, the Skarmory's down. Tropius will go 
against Dugong. Swablu's coming out back out, but Deli Bird is paralyzed. So we'll swap out Celio here. Alright, Pelipper will go back to Reg Ice. deal. Alright, we're going to try to take out Altaria with Celio. is an earthquake gonna do we have okay defense but it's not the best yeah it's not good not good for altaria good critical hit easy peasy Teach Aerial Ace. We are going to get rid of... Remember, we have to keep present on Deli Bird. Alright, let's fly down to Slate Port. We'll heal up. So at this point, I don't care who takes on what. Might as well just level up Pokemon now. Because we don't need specific EVs on Pokemon anymore. Alright. To the next trick house, which is the quiz one. Uh, 
That's the one I don't ever remember. See, that one I remember, there's six. Oh, the burn heal's more expensive on that one. do that to keep it progressing. Alright, now we're gonna go surfing. Well, apart from it learning Ice Beam, Dugong's moveset is pretty set, but we're going to replace Aurora Beam with Ice Beam when it learns it at, like, level 51. Um, Celio just needs Rest and Snore, where, which it gets both of those at level 39. Reg Ice is going to get Ice Beam when we get it here in the, um, the Sunken Ship. And then it's going to learn Amnesia at level 41. And then Delibird gets Hail, which we get from the Ice Cave north of Moss Deep. And Blizzard, which we get in Lily Cove. Doesn't matter, I don't think it matters. Dugong. Celio is better at taking on water Pokemon than Dugong is right now because it still knows a normal and a rock attack. And I'm gonna need to get a quick bathroom break because I didn't do that while I was working on stuff. I'll be.
All right, sorry about that. Gotta go, you gotta go. Good level up. All right, let's swap Dugong and Regice out. one of those now and Regi still needs one on superpower. Thunderbolt here and surf. Do the same thing. Should level up both of them. Yep. Well, that's not very nice. Come on, Reg Ice. Good deal. Single target surf damage now. Again, it, it really doesn't matter who takes on what. We just we just don't like using Deli Bird. First aerial ace. If you're curious what we're looking at EV-wise, I mean, Delibird's not maxed out, but high on attack and speed. 
Um, Celio's high on HP and special attack. We've gotten really good um, defense and special defense on Red Giants, but he's got a lot of other stuff spreaded around. And then Dugong's uh, pretty good on HP and special attack. Speed is also kind of high. That's where our Eevees fall here at the end. So there's two main metrics in this fight, <laughs> which is what our biggest worry is going to be about. Good damage. If one thing that Delibird does have going forward is when it does hit with a physical attack, that hustle is really uh, helping out a lot. But if it doesn't, it does not have the defenses for survivability. let the main entry get an attack here we go in with the take out the machop and then we surf out the main etric try hit the celia with it too he's got plenty of hp Good deal. Still hits the ice ball. Very nice. So our target for the next gym leaders, of course, is 42. That's what we need for Tate and Liza. And I don't think we'll have an issue with that. Even though we have a slow leveling rate Pokemon, we have a fast that kind of evens it out. Should be able to clear out the ship here in this episode and then call it good. Really just surfing there for the zigzagoon. Thunderbolt there again, and Surf again. Wow, 
wow, just drops the horsey as well. Very nice. Two single battles and then a double battle, or two double battles. Oh, well, let's take on this guy first. So we could get him on the way back, but now let's just take him on now. It's just all HP, Dugong. Regice to take on the kid with the Meryl running around here. And then we'll just get them both in on a double battle, and I think we will level them both up af after both double battles. Get every the whole team to level 37. Ice. But we'll see. This double battle and then we'll get ice beam and get out of here and call it an episode. Regice didn't level up, but Dugong did.
right, and there's Ice Beam. There we go. So this is where we're going to end our episode for today. We do hope you all enjoyed the stream, and we will be back next time with more Pokemon. Until then, take care, everybody.